the Mandela Washington Fellowship Program. Uh, it was a residential program in one of the college. So I uh, studied uh, like the civic leadership program for six weeks and following the completion of the six weeks leadership program, we had an opportunity meeting President Obama on a town hall meeting. So basically it was a town hall meeting where we had an opportunity to interact with him, to ask different uh, questions and answers. So basically he was in Ethiopia at that time. He came in Ethiopia and on, we met him on August 4. He came in Ethiopia on July, if, I was, if I'm not mistaken. So basically when he shaked my hand, he was uh, going, uh, coming, and he, when he shaked my hand, um, what I told him was like, I was, I was happy he visited our country um, because like he inspired many people. Uh, he inspired uh, being black was not a limitation. Um, and he inspired us. The thing about Pre President Barack Obama is he really connect with um, across generation. He can connect with old people. He can connect with young people. And all of us, um, I can say all of us were really nervous at that time. And we were like, especially um, when he came to the podium, we were discussing what kind of question to ask. If any of us gets the opportunity, our plan was at least to ask one relevant question um, that will be specifically regarding our country and also specifically uh, regarding Africa or continent. We didn't have an opportunity to ask the question, but one of my friend, uh, a Nigerian friend who was at my college, Wagner College, uh, had an opportunity um, to ask President Barack Obama. So he asked a very critical question regarding uh, brain drainage and uh, he asked that important question. He said the opportunity is uh, within the continent. Uh, we might go to United States or UK or other countries um, to get the best education, but serving our community is our responsibility. Um, so basically, he gave an assignment to us. It's not the responsibility of the developed countries to stop brain drainage, but it's the responsibility of us as uneducated individuals to serve our community and our country.